This is my very first pre-match experience in Germany. It's mad what a bucket hat can do and it goes. and gents I'm here fairly close to the home of VFB Bochum the Ruhr Stadion I think it's called I'm trying to get tickets apparently they only sell tickets for the game this evening versus Hoffenheim online I keep refreshing it but I can't manage to find a ticket getting German football tickets is literally mission impossible they're very well supported clubs here in Germany so in the meanwhile I've just finished a Schalke stadium tour and I told the lady, I said, I'm off to Bochum. She goes, you've got to try the Bochum curry burst. So There's a lot of things that are different here in Germany compared to back in England on the football scene. But one thing that's the same, and that's trying to find a bloody space on match day in and around the houses. Obviously the houses look a bit different, but I've got a parking space. I've just not got a ticket. So worst case scenario, we're gonna film around the ground like we normally would, try and soak up some of that Bundesliga match day atmosphere. And I've already been down there. There are a few cheeky glimpses inside the ground, a few unorthodox quirky corners. Nice. Well then guys, my A-level German has only got me so far. I feel like the people of Bochum know I'm not a local. They know I'm a Brit, an Englishman. Without even opening my mouth, they started speaking to me in English. So what I'm gonna do, because we're unsuccessful on getting tickets online, I'm gonna head now to the club shop. We're gonna buy a VFL Bochum hat or something. And we're really gonna try and integrate ourselves into around the stadium. We're just, we're just gonna try and blend in basically. So there we have a Bochum bar. Here we go then guys, nice and disguised. Tiny little fan shop. I think the shop is one of those small ones that people use on match day. I'm not quite sure what this line over here is. Must be some kind of VIP thing. But I hope you like my hat. I am blending in now with the locals. Let's go and have a little 360 because I've not been this way yet. Let's get amongst it. Now I did say the ticket office was online only, but she's only gone and opened up, hasn't she? And I spoke to her in my most perfect of Deutsch and said, do you have any tickets, my love? And she said, no, nine. Get out of here, she said. So, so we're either gonna be ticket touting or we're just gonna pick up this match day atmosphere from outside the ground. It's already picking up, as I said earlier. In England, normally you've got to wait at least an hour before. I mean, I did the Manchester Derby at Old Trafford earlier on in the season, and you could have heard a pin drop. Let's high five. Hey! Oosh! <laughs> Here we go. Loving life. It's mad what a bucket hat can do, and it, guys? I think I'm sticking out more than when I didn't wear the hat, to be fair. Everyone knows I'm an idiot abroad. So let's do a little bit of narration, guys. We've got one of these. If you have been watching the recent videos, they love these little fan shops on wheels. To be fair, it's about the same size as the shop I just went into. It's got a better selection of hats as well. Let's have a look. Nice scarves. Nice women behind the counter. It's all good. 
So I have a couple of German friends, Malvin, who often tunes in on the live stream. I asked him, Malvin, how do I go about finding, doing a bit of tickets out in? How do I find these people selling tickets? He said, sometimes they'll wave them above their head. Sometimes they'll hold a sign up saying Kauf and Ticketon. But obviously it's the end of the season. People want to see what happens in arguably the most important games in the Bundesliga. So we've timed it quite poorly, actually. But if we do see anyone waving tickets, we're going to be all over it. Either way, what else would I be doing? I'd be sat at the hotel, probably editing up videos, but we're here. We need to experience as many Deutsche Fußball Stadion as possible. Right then, ladies and gents, we made reference to it when we went to Borussia and watching Gladbach, Borussia Park. I think we spoke about it again at Dortmund. You get these cheeky glimpses through the stairwells in the Premier League, in England. Generally speaking, you've got to go inside and then there's the stairs into the ground. The only one I can think of where there's an external staircase is Man City, the Etihad. But obviously you don't get a cheeky glimpse inside the ground like you do over there. There's no corners to this football ground. Open corners, should I say. Or well, at least I don't think there is. Because obviously we love a corner here on Rice Football Paradise. <laughs> This is absolutely crazy. How many clubs do gatherings in a petrol station, in a fuel station? I dread to think if anyone wants to fill up their Vauxhall Corsa over here. Not happening. Wowzers. This is the queue to get in that little shop over there. A few beers. Everyone's just walking around with beers. I think there's a, I think legally you can't do that in England, can you? Walk around with a beer on the streets. Obviously we've got a reputation. But look at that view over there. This is the Bundesliga. This is my very first pre-match experience in Germany. Ladies and gents, what the hell was that? I'm guessing they're the Hoffenheim crazy lot, the wacky bunch. Initially I'm thinking they're dressed in 80s fancy dress, but uh, I don't know with German fashion, that could be all the rage. One thing that is good is the beer, obviously. Obviously in England, we can't take beers into the ground. Now, I've just double checked, triple checked, quadruple checked, and you can take them. I've just seen a bloke with a holder with like five or six beers in. He's just sat down in his seat. I'm gonna smash this down. Obviously I'm driving, I'm only allowed the one beer. Everything's going so well, we're here. We've got tickets, they're genuine. And we're about to watch our very first game, our very first Bundesliga game, should I say. And I'm absolutely buzzing. Come on, cheers. Bochum, zwei? Nein, nein, Bochum one. Bochum one? Offenheim. Bochum two? Erste Liga. Ah, yeah, yeah.
few moments later. Approximately 10 hours later. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't slightly fallen in love with German football. Maybe that's an understatement. It's been love at first sight. I'll be honest, I've been going off the Premier League for a while as the season's progressed. I've only been here two days. This is my very first Bundesliga game. What an experience so far. And tomorrow, we're at Armenia Arken. I think that's how you say it. And they're going to be champions of the fourth tier of German football, the equivalent to our League Two. Apparently, there's going to be a pitch invasion. I don't know how it can top this. Today, as a reminder, I've been to the Westfalen Stadion, the home of Borussia Dortmund. I've been to the Valtins Arena, the home of Schalke. And now, the Vanovia Ruhr Stadion on Bloody Match Day. It's only the first half. What is the second half going to bring? Bring it on. Oh, come on. Heimbereich ausverkauft. Danke fürs Kommen. Danke für die Stimmung.
time today. Turned up with no ticket, was expecting a bit of an anti climax, but here we are with our newfound Bundesliga club, VFB Bochum. What a fantastic win that was. A little bit nervy at the end. I was worried Offenheim were going to equalise in the last minute. Everyone reckons Offenheim are basically the MK Dons of Germany, a plastic club, and that was evident when they scored. I was quite baffled. I thought the goals had been disallowed because no noise. There was a few of the ultras that were still bouncing up and down, but it was like they didn't even notice they'd scored. Very strange experience. But there are many things I'm liking about German football. Many things I think are lacking in English football, such as obviously lack of beer, not allowed any beer in the Premier League. But also we know why there's no terracing because of Hillsborough in 1989. But when you see the stand behind the goal, people always go on about the yellow wall in Dortmund. Obviously that's the biggest, but it's intimidating, it's good. So then, ladies and gents, it's currently 3.19, that's a.m., not p.m. I've not slept yet and I've got to be up at seven, so it's going to be another three hour sleep, I think. I'm trying to edit up this video, the one you're watching, but I've come back from the game, you can't really see it, with a note which says, good evening, can you go to the reception to talk? I thought, oi, oi, cheeky, who's this trying to get a piece of rye? It's that woman who was on the desk, the Leverkusen fan, the one we spoke about on the live stream. She's not trying to be kinky. She's been a, a nice lady because she's got us a ticket to the game tomorrow by Leverkusen versus Stuttgart. We're going to be watching two games live. I say tomorrow, but today, as of this video going live, it's all going well. It's been absolutely non-stop. I've been living on energy drinks, but I can sleep when I'm back in England. Ladies and gents, all I ask is you politely tap that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you for those two games tomorrow. Oh yes.